hi guys welcome to white color muscle and today i have a special and amazing bodybuilder with me abhishek and uh, so he's a muscle mania champion in 2016 and 17 he's a south india champion in 2015 and he's mr bangalore in 2018 so guys uh, you must really go and follow him on instagram check out his journey it's an amazing and beautiful bodybuilding journey and uh, so let's get to know more about Abhishek. Yeah. So hi Abhishek. Hi. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you here. Hi. Uh, this is Abhishek. I'm, uh, I, I, I was a physic athlete. Now I changed my category to classic physic. So I'm playing on the classic physic. Uh, I'm a classic physic athlete now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So you can see all his posters around behind in the gym. And uh, so Abhishek, uh, I want to ask you something. Yeah. Like you recently participated in Rage Classic. Yeah. Right. So, uh, how was it different from other, uh, can you tell us something about Rage Classic and yeah. uh, like how was it different from other uh, competitions? So, Rage Classic uh, was one of the best Mr. Bangalore competitions ever happened in the Bangalore because it was well organized and uh, athletes were, you know, one of the best, you know, prize money. So, I, th I don't think no one ever had given so much of prize money to the athletes mm -hmm. because that's the main thing because we spend a lot on, on, you know, we invest a lot on our body, <laughs> our yeah. diet, work yeah. out and supplement everything. So, uh, no one gives so much of prize money. So, Rage Classic has taken care of that list really good. They have treated them really good. And, and again, the prize money is the best thing you can talk about. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. since bodybuilding is a uh, you can say a sport where athletes put in a lot of money and yes, at the end of the day most of the competitions most of the uh, competitions they only give uh, money to the only one yeah, overall winner they don't give yeah, to yeah, uh, in yeah. all the categories they yeah, don't give so the money here uh, in rich classic what different was like for each category each category winners the first second and third uh, got the prize money that's like 50,000 for the first oh, wow. and 30,000 for second and uh, 20,000 for the third place. third place. So I don't think anywhere ever they are given for each different categories prize money. Wow. So again, nice. yeah, so usually they give only for the overall uh, one, two, three, but here each category that's like, oh, yeah, there was like three classes, so A, B, C. So each category guys got like prize money differently. Wow. So in total, how many? Uh, 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 categories were there. Uh, the, there were uh, like physic. Physic. In physic. There were three, like A, B, C, three categories. A, B, C, like three, three maybe. categories, and all the three categories got first, yeah. second, and third position. Yeah, they yeah, got prize money. Right. Yes, that's right. Wow, guys. Yeah. Wow. So, so the, that's, uh, that's all right. the budding and the upcoming bodybuilders out there, you must really participate in Rage. Exactly. And uh, the next competition, when is it uh, going to happen? Uh, it's going to be uh, maybe uh, November, era November. Okay. Uh, it's maybe October or November. October, no. So, Sorry. somewhere around October and November. So, you guys, if you want to stay tuned when the next competition is going to happen, follow him and follow Rage Classic. I'll put both the Instagram yeah. handles below. Now is the time to start preparing. Exactly. So, yeah. how uh, the people should take it forward, like who are yeah. new to bodybuilding? Uh, so, actually, guys who are new to the bodybuilding, because if you have to compete in the Rage Classic, it's going to be a grand prize. So the Grand Prix is where it's open for everyone. Anyone from the world can compete. Oh. It's not only that, wow. only Bangalore or anyone from a uh, closer state. So anywhere, anywhere from the world can compete. So it's people open. out there, anywhere in the world, anywhere in India, any country can come and participate in Rage competition. Yeah, rage, rage it's going class. to be around in October yeah. 2019. October or uh, November. Yeah. So uh, if, if, if you follow me, so I'll be, I'll be posting the dates. Uh, updates on that so it's gonna be one of the best ever happened in bangalore for sure great, because great. and again the everything matters is the money actually yeah at the end of the day it's, it's a money or what it's is because like money. we put in a lot a lot, so of, usually lot yeah. of competitions they don't pay mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what we deserve actually yeah so rage is the only place where, as i said so each category they they, they paid everyone so it, it's one of the best you know uh, you wow say. guys wow so uh, like any uh, tips or any suggestions like okay. two to three suggestions for upcoming bodybuilders yeah. out there? Uh, the thing is like if you're planning to compete in the rich classic so it's, it's better you start now because it's going to be a huge competition because a lot of guys going to come from outside also even the outside states maybe from the outside the country also okay. so there'll be a lot of good guys coming in so 
if you are, if you are planning to compete for the race classic so it's it's better you start now so and it's going to be really big you, you don't mess it yeah. <laughs> you have to be serious about yeah, it guys yeah. you have to be serious about it yeah, that's true. and uh, so uh, can you tell us something about your journey how did you start okay. into bodybuilding uh, actually uh, i am from a small village from kurg so, kurg yeah, wow yeah. I, I, i've been there yeah, it's a really nice place yeah, it's yeah. really good place so uh, i came here uh, uh, to work in it actually so i'm a bsc graduate computer wow science. wow yeah, so i worked for 6 months uh, and then after i started thinking it's not the right place for me it's really inspiring yeah. really guys even i am an engineer <laughs> even i am an it engineer and to all the it engineers out there who are who have taken a step forward who are into bodybuilding exactly abhishek is the guy to follow yeah. you must really follow him he has a amazing journey yeah, i must yeah. say so again then uh, i i was working in goals in the beginning so okay. that's why i just wanted to learn few things because i didn't had no one to guide me so i just started working as a trainer so i can learn like you know how to get into this so uh, i it took almost uh, like 2 to 1/2 years just to learn my body and like how it, how 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 it works for my body and what works better for me so then later i started competing 4 years back Okay. So I uh, I started competing probably like first two years uh, I did like maybe like five or six competitions but I never placed in one. Okay. Yeah. Then after that I started getting better. So that the more I competed I started learning more. So then uh, the, I started to know much more about my body. So then I started getting better. So so now. So you saw like better. what is working out for you and what is not working out yeah, for you, yeah. and you worked on those weak points. Yes, exactly. And you push yourself harder. Yes, it took almost like two and a half years to like learn myself wow. like so, what works better for me. Yeah. So guys out there who are uh, saying that हमें छः महीने में body बनानी है, छः महीने में abs बनाने हैं, it's not going to happen, guys. It's a long journey. It actually. takes a lot of time yeah. to understand yeah. how actually exactly. the body functions. Yeah. You can get a good body in short short time, but the the thing is like if you need to get that you know proportion or the right body, you know that you know where. and the people look at it they say like okay that's like greek greek body greek, greek god body. body yeah so it takes a lot of time to like get the right proportion so don't hurry up or rush in red so take your time so get the right proportion work on the weak points get better you know it, it's it's a long term you know Ooh. yeah in so guys if you're serious about, uh, about bodybuilding your muscle definition should be really great and it will yeah. take time for you to develop exactly. that yeah, and even learn about that how yes, to do it yes. Right. First thing is you have to learn like it's all trial and error. Mm-hmm. So you need to like learn yourself like what works better. So after that, so you can change your body just like that. You can change your body in like body fat days, maybe thirty days. Mm-hmm. It depends on like how good you, how much effort you're putting on. Yeah. So but to reach that level, that two two to end up as three years mm-hmm. to learn it. So once you learn, so you can just change your body just like so that. So recently, even I saw your transformation from January to February, yeah, like yeah. around thirty to forty days yes, transformation. Exactly. That was. Uh, my transformation after my uh, i had a viral fever uh, oh. and i had a back injury also that was after my recovery yeah so yeah so guys uh, that was just this transformation is what we're talking about is just before him participating in rage classic event yeah. so if you want to see his videos of rage classic we'll put at uh, put a link in the description below yeah. so you go and check out his performance in rage classic and if you want to check out his transformation go and check out his instagram and there you'll find out those pics yeah. yeah. So within 30 30 days yeah, right it's close to 40 days close yeah. to 40 days yeah. wow that's so, an amazing yeah, uh, that's transformation one of the best transformation i ever did because as i said it's not that just that 40 days the whatever effort i put from last 4 years mm-hmm. i learned i learned like how to change my body just like that yeah, yeah. okay great great yeah. great so uh, uh, like how many people participated in rage classic uh, in uh, they were around uh, close to of uh, 60 70 60 70 people yeah, yeah. Uh, this is for one particular category uh, uh, it, it's all uh, together it's all yeah, together 60 yeah, people yeah, participated yeah. and all all of them from from uh, were from bangalore category. no uh, there were people who had come from uh, chennai uh, from cochin cochin yeah okay. so there were like people from outside also okay. so uh, uh, it's a good thing actually yeah yeah, yeah. So, and it's a first race classic mm-hmm. and we had uh, probably like best response Uh, ever uh, anyone had because mm-hmm. we had people coming from outside uh, to compete in Mr. Bangalore. Uh, I, I think it's the f- first time we are seeing it. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So, guys who are in Bangalore, आपके लिए तो अच्छी खबर है. Like uh, the event is going to happen yeah, in Bangalore itself. 
So but yeah, people lucky, who, to, have, uh, lucky, yeah, lucky yeah, to be lucky in Bangalore. Lucky to be in Bangalore. <laughs> okay. Because it's happening right here because right here. It, it makes a lot of difference when you travel outside and compete. Again, the stay of food, whatever, uh, it's going to take a lot of toll when you compete outside. But when it's happening in your hometown, it's, 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 it should be like lucky to compete. But I think uh, for the people who are competing in Rage, yeah. uh, it's going to be a benefit for all of them because uh, yeah. So that uh, like there was no VIP thing, yeah. like everybody was treated equally. All exactly. the body bodybuilders were treated yes, yes, equally. Right. They had uh, their uh, space to exactly. uh, settle down and yes, yes. get tan and yeah. all. Right? Exactly. Can you please uh, tell something about more yeah. about that? So the thing was like uh, there's no like VIP section or anything uh, in the race classic. So it was open for everyone. So that's why like everyone was treated like, like you know. Everyone is treated like oh, they, they were respected. Yeah, Everybody respected, yeah. was respected like yeah, athlete. Yeah. And again, the there was like huge respect for the athletes because the first thing because I I competed many competitions. The thing the thing is like when you go because you you're you know on strict diet for so many months and you're on the low carb and low salt. So because like when when you go there when they don't treat you so that's the first thing. You, you need to get that confidence. When they don't treat you good, so you, you lose your confidence. You lose the confidence. So when, when you go for the competitions, so when they treat you good and when they respect you much, so you, you know you feel good. So that, that, mm-hmm. that's what that's the best thing with the rage. That's the best. So thing. we we at the rage, so rage classic, they treated everyone really good. So everyone like maybe like there were some amateurs, so they were like good bodybuilders. So everyone is treated. It's not like you know they you know they did mm-hmm. like partially they would win. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. amateurs are the you know are the you know good athletes. So that's the best thing actually. Yeah. Okay. So so guys, it's really nice thing. People who are traveling from outside, it's really good for you that you know that you'll be treated very nicely. You'll yeah. be respected as an athlete. Exactly. You'll be at par with all of them. Like it's not like you are an amateur or you are a pro. You will be treated differently. Nothing like that. Yeah. Everyone will be respected out there. Yeah. And so again, that's a nice thing. Yeah, again, uh, I had to talk about the judgment. It was probably one of the best judgment uh, ever, ever. Yeah. ever. So, judgment, uh, uh, it, it was judged, you know, right, actually. Mm-hmm. So, so they did the really best judgment. They were like a uh, panel of around like uh, 15 to 20 judges. 15 to 20 yeah. judges were there. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. that's to like, you know, make clear that. Mm-hmm. So, it's not like two, three judges where they take their own decision. It's a decision of like 15, one of the best judges. Yeah, that, that's why okay. it's a best judge. So, uh, that also reduces the uh, chances of partiality because yeah, there exactly, are a lot of yeah. judges around there. Yeah. When there are two lesser like, judges, like three, four judges, uh, you don't know like what's happening. You don't happens, like what's like, happening. Yeah, here you have to take everyone's suggestion. Everyone's suggestion. So, so it, 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 different views. Different of, views. And again, the judges were like from different categories. Okay. So there were like few judges who were into physique, okay. who were into bodybuilding. So uh, something like that. So it was, you know, different judges have different views. So th- there is no, you know, partiality in, in the judging. Yeah. Great. So uh, there were also so uh, women categories. Can you yeah. tell which, which all women categories uh, were there? Uh, there was uh, two categories for women. Uh, it was uh, bikini and uh, uh, figure. Bikini and figure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Two categories. There was good response for the women also, mainly in the Bangalore. Mainly. Yeah. yeah. So they were quite a good athletes, I think. Uh, it, it, it's it's going to be like best for the women uh, mm-hmm. who is coming up yeah. now uh, for the future. So I think they should Great. they should be competing for the next. Mm-hmm. Race so uh, even for all the women out there, all the women bodybuilders out there, the next competition is going to happen in around October, November in 2019. Yeah. So you can stay tuned on Rage Classic Instagram handle, or you can stay tuned on Abhishek's Instagram handle, and you can get to know more about it. So yeah. I think uh, that wraps up. Uh, with yeah. our schedule, but uh, I have a few questions to ask from Abhishek personally. Yeah. Like, what is your favorite food? Oh, uh, favorite food? Uh, you mean uh, the uh, diet or? Uh, no, 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 no. Diet, what you like to eat? What, okay. what crave? What craving uh, okay. do you have? Cravings. Uh, I'm actually a uh, sweet lover, and okay. uh, I love mutton biryani. Mutton biryani. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's only when you're off. off when you're season, off season. Yeah. Okay. But whenever on, on season, so I, I'm, I'm strict, strict, very strict, strict on that. Very strict. Okay. That's what helped me to get transfer my body really fast, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. what do you like more in sweets? Oh, uh, more it's anything. So, anything, anything sweet is fine. Anything yeah. sweet is fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Great. So, I think uh, that's really nice to know Abhishek yeah. and nice to uh, get some really good information about Rage Classic from him. Yeah. And uh, for more information, you can contact him personally on Instagram. Yeah, sure, anytime. Uh, and so, you can yeah. contact me anytime if you need any suggestions. 
so you can uh, dm me so i can help you out so there is for the athletes because i i have learned myself because i as i told i had no one to like guide me when i came into this field in the beginning so i know what, what or you know how it feels like when no one is there to guide you so if someone is there so he's trying to come up to to this profession so i can help you guys out you just you guys just dm me so um, uh, it's open any time okay so uh, one more one last question yeah. i'm shake so which gym gym do you work out in uh, i work out at rage actually rage fitness yeah. and we are in rage fitness yeah, right we now are in rage fitness the so, thing is like because uh, i mm -hmm. used to stay actually recently i moved to indranagar mm -hmm. so rage fitness in indranagar it's very so close, before right? uh, I, it was just like two months back I moved here. Okay. So before, like for a year, I used to travel from Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar, you yeah. from Vijayanagar, you used to travel yeah, here yeah, just to just work out, work out. Yeah, because wow. uh, no other gym probably in Bangalore who has separate section for the leg workout mm. because that's my favorite workout and the classic physique I play. So legs are the you know first thing. First so, thing. Yeah. First yeah. Thing it comes. Uh, you need to have best legs. So mm -hmm. that's the reason. So. This, this is the best place I, I like about so, it. You know, one more thing I noticed about Abhishek is that uh, most of the bodybuilders don't work out on the legs or yeah. like they have weak legs. Yeah, exactly. But Abhishek over here, yeah. you can check out his legs, guys. He has one of the best legs in the industry. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Massive. This is massive. Guys. Massive. Thanks, Abhishek. Thanks for posing. Yeah. So Thank it was really nice meeting you nice over here. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. I look forward to meet sure, uh, you and Rage further. Anytime, anytime, and sure. Great. So, yeah, nice uh, yeah same here. Yeah. Same here. So, bye bye, guys. Okay. See you. See you guys. Yeah. Bye.